breaking news Nigerians. Fighting erupts in the jail. Soldiers killed amid concerns over coup and ECOWAS military intervention. Details will shock you. Authorities reported that there was a clash on Sunday in the western part of Niger, resulting in the death of six Niger soldiers and 10 individuals described as terrorists. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Authorities reported that there was a clash on Sunday in the western part of Niger, resulting in the death of six Niger soldiers and 10 individuals described as terrorists. The attack occurred near the town of Sama, where suspected jihadists on motorcycles and ambushed the, the troops. This area, located in the Tilabiri Terry border region, where Niger shares borders with Mali and Burkina Faso, has been a, a hot spot for jihad, jihadist attacks. Notably, this incident follows a similar attack on August 9, which resulted in the killing of five soldiers in the same region. This series of events has occurred under the military regime that assumed power following the hosting of, of President Mohamed Barzoum on July 26. The leader of the coup, General Duramani, has cited the deteriorating security situation in the country as a justification for overthrowing Barzoum's presidency. Meanwhile, the Indian junta moves to prosecute the Austed president for high treason. The Niger Republic, Republic military junta leader, General Duramani, vowed to prosecute the Austed president for high treason. They have agreed to dialogue with the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS. Niger's Hosted President Mohamed Barzoum could be prosecuted for high treason, the junta that seeks power in the West African country said on Monday. This was made known by Colonel Amadou Adrami, Adramani, a spokesperson for the junta on state TV. Please pardon me. According to Reuters, Adramani noted that the junta had assembled the necessary elements to prosecute the hard-set president for high treason and undermining the internal and external security of Niger. Sahara reporters had reported that Niger Republic military junta leader should. The, the Sahara reporters have reported that the Niger Republic Military junta leader General Duramani agreed to dialogue with the Economic Community of West African States Equals. And this comes after his meeting with delegation of Islamic scholars led by Sheikh Adurai Bala to the Niger Republic last week. The Prime Minister of Niger, Ali Mahamani, disclosed that the, 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 the general expressed, has expressed readiness to dialogue with the regional bloc. We have agreed and the leader of our country has given the green lights for dialogue. They will now go back and inform the Nigerian president what they have heard from us. We hope in the coming days the economic the eco the echoers will come here to meet us to discuss how the sanctions imposed against us will be lifted, he said. The voice of Nigeria Van Helia reported that some Islamic Islamic scholars from Nigeria met with the people, the the group leaders in Niger over the weekend. 
So their meeting came after the coup leaders rebuilt strength by the regional bloc to forcefully restore the country's ousted leader, Mohamed Barzum, if he was not restated by the junta within a week. So guys, we're not here waiting day now. Say these terrorists, these Boko Haram, beauty then they call them. They no one hear word. You understand? They no one hear word. They still they push, they still they keep people. And these are one of the reasons why the military junta said uh, that was why the reason why they took the 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 they overthrow the the government of Mohammed Barzum, seeing what is going on and all that. And now they have agreed for dialogue. But they are still saying that even when they dialogue, that the 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 deposed president must be prosecuted. You understand? So the matter itself is really this strong. The matter is not easy here. The matter is not easy. They said African countries, they don't care about their masses. They are just they are just concerned about themselves and their family members. Why these jihadists? Uh, why this why these uh, jihadists continue to fight, you know, and kill innocent people? So guys, I'm dropping it here. Eh? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.